Carried by E. coli in my uncooked Donna beef, spread rapidly through my intestinal tract, quickly causing grief. I found out about FameLab when someone suggested to me that I uh, should give it a go because they thought I'd be good at it. And I, I like the format because you really have to know exactly the idea you want to get your audience to understand. Movement is a signature of life. Being able to move enables us to explore our environment and find food. But if you or I can't move, we can always call Domino's and get a pizza. Unfortunately for bacteria, there's no takeaway. So it stands to reason they've developed an amazing mechanism by which they can swim. The heat I took part in was the Oxford heat. I'd done sort of small venue things before, but never with a camera and a square, and there's certain things that test your metal, as it were. And it was it a was fun opportunity to mix sort of performance with science, and I hadn't had a chance to do that before, so that's what led me here, and fortunately I managed to make it to the final in the masterclass. So now we know how sperms swim, and we know how they steer, but how do they know where the bloody egg is? Well, eggs, thankfully enough, give out a chemical attractant that sperms know they want a piece of. And they can tell if they're going towards the egg or away from the egg by, by the balance of this concentration. When they're far away, they go in very shallow circles, and when they're close, they go in very tight circles. Well, I see myself probably continuing as a scientist, and hopefully if I got the right job being, being a research scientist, but I, I would like to extend my work in outreach roles, and I think that there should be possibly expected for scientists to be able to go out there and if you can't make the man on the street interested in your research in five minutes then you have to think about why, why can't you do that and maybe that's the sort of angle that we should be thinking of as scientists. So for me I see myself as a scientist who's able to engage with the public. This machine can build itself, can switch directions based on whether it's going towards or away from food and it's the fastest rotary machine on the planet.